Oh, it might as well just use your teeth. Today we are checking out battery powered pruning shears and I've got the 18 volt Dewalt and the 12 volt Milwaukee. They are absolutely stunning pieces of kit with so much power. They just go, whoa, look at that, whoa, and this one, whoa. Love them, cannot wait to try them. But the big question is, can they compete with the good old fashioned secateurs? These are my Felco 4s, which I absolutely adore. So these guys have got a lot to live up to. Let's check them out. Tested by Machinery Nation. So this is the Dewalt unit, which runs on the same 18 volt platform as all of their drills and everything else. It has got 38 millimeter opening jaws. Yes, 38 millimeters, which is rather considerable. I shouldn't really be putting my hand that close because all of a sudden, whoa, whoa, when you press the button, it goes closed completely. And when you let it go, it opens back up completely. So you haven't got any control over the trigger. It's just literally open or closed but it's a nice solid design. Typical Dewalt is all well made and the trigger system is quite clever. You've got to push down the little trigger there to release that one and then once that's pulled in, you can then press that as much as you want in and out. It is a brushed motor, so hence why you can probably see the sparking at the back there. That is normal, that's how it's meant to be. Obviously the batteries have the charge indicator on the back and this one, well, was full before I started playing about, but we've got the five amp hour battery today, which apparently with a five amp, you can get up to 1100 cuts. How big those cuts are? Are they as big as my thumb or are they as big as my finger? I don't know, but today we're gonna to test it out to see what it can do. And the Milwaukee is running on their 12 volt system. And this is the two amp hour battery. And on the two amp hour battery, apparently you can get a thousand cuts out of one charge. Again, I don't know whether that's the size of my little finger or it's the size of my thumb. But Milwaukee state that their jaws can go up to an inch and a quarter. So you can get material in that's an inch and a quarter, which is about 32 mil, I think, something like that. They're about 30, 32 mil. On them though, you have got the on button. So you can turn it on and off nice and easily. But then you've also got a mode button. The mode button is for going between two different sizes of material. So as you can see there, it's fully open. If I turn it down to the smaller mode, which is that on the right hand side, and then press the trigger in, it only opens slightly. So you can save battery power by not having to open and close completely on each circuit. So when you go through that on the smaller material, or you can press the larger button, as you can see it's open small there, but now press the button, it'll open fully. So that's right up now to an inch and a quarter of material, which is, well, pretty cool. I like that idea that you can conserve battery power and also not have to wait for that to open each time. Although, even when it's on the large mode, that is a quick action. But with this one on the trigger, you have got trigger control. So your finger controls how far the blades go in. So pushing that down, you can actually control how far that is closing. You've just got full control then, and it just makes a lot of sense battery indicator on the side on this one so it's not on the battery it's actually on the tool itself so yeah right cool let's check it out right so i got this black poplar tree here and every year it sprouts out all over and it just turns into a complete mess so i've left it for this very video because i'd have probably done it sooner just to keep it tidy but it's ideal right demo up first let's give a few cuts and see how we get on <gasps> start up here first oh wow nice look at this i don't even know why i'm holding them just keep cutting james so you'll be fine oh yeah, that's about eight, up to about eight mil of material. Let's try a bigger one. Here it goes, right in nice and tight. Ah, didn't even think about it. Look at that, can we go in any closer? Ah, oh, smart. Little one. <laughs> right, and same for the Milwaukee. Let's set it on the small mode, because there's only small stuff at the moment, but ready? Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Sweet. What I didn't mention is the Milwaukee is actually a brushless motor, whereas the Dewalt was a brushed motor. So there's a big difference to start with. But I don't think it really makes too much difference on a tool like this because it's not under like a lot of strain for a lot of time, not like a drill where it's just consistently going. Nice. <laughs> Easy. Right, let's try the Milwaukee on something a little bit bigger. Up and there it goes. Ah, nice. And this one. And that's still on the smaller setting, and that's a good sort of 10 mil there, probably. Let's try a bit deeper. Nice. Right, now half the tree, just for speed test, just to see how I get on. I'm just going to prune like I'd normally prune. Sea bolt first. Oh, I made that grunt. It's easy, though. I thought it'd be quite hard to get into places with them, but it seems to be quite... 
It's just simple to get in there. The D-bolt, look at it. Oh, didn't even think about it. Right, I'm just going to use the Milwaukee now to finish off the tree. So in big mode, don't need big mode, just use small mode. Like something like pruning apple trees or something like that, this would be amazing. Because let's say you've got an, an orchard, an apple orchard that you, you know, you prune every year, perhaps you prune every two years. Cut all the canker out and everything. So there's a lot of pruning, a massive amount of cuts in one day that you would do. You know, I'm talking thousands. So something like this, because your hands, I kid you not, ache. If you've been there, you know exactly what I mean. Your hands just ache after pruning apple trees all day. So something like this, you're just pulling on that trigger. Ah, oh, that just went through that, like, no, that's like, that was, that was an easily an inch. We're done. I can now hug my poplar tree. Feel popular? No, I don't think I've ever felt popular. But I can now hug my tree without getting, you know, all the branches in the way. Wicked. Right, let's move on to something a bit bigger, a bit more challenging with these. The other day I come out to the garden and the wife is there with a hand saw, as in like, I mean, a wood saw that you use for carpentry, not a bow saw, a chainsaw, mini hatchet, all the tools that we've got access to. Oh no, she's there with a handsaw chopping up this tree where she hangs the bird feeders because she banged her head while using the ride on one day because they were too low. So she's out there with a handsaw going, ah! And then I come around the corner here to beside the chicken run and what she done, just dumped all the branches in the middle. And she goes, all right, I'll clear it up later. I said, don't worry about it, I'll use it for a video. So here we are. Right, so this here is probably about an inch and a quarter. Do you reckon the DOL can cut it? I don't know, it's only softwood, so. Ha! A few presses on the trigger, and that bit through, and through. Look at that! You know, it's only just fitting in there, but whatever can go in there seems to be cutting. Admittedly, this is only fur or conifer or whatever you want to call it. I'll do that again. So yeah, we'll do the bigger stuff, but on the smaller stuff, let's get down here a bit. Let's get down here. On these yet, it's just gonna go. Amazing. That's cool, isn't it? All right then. All right, you gotta you gotta press it a few times. Let's try the Milwaukee on the same bit there while we've got it a second. All right, got the Milwaukee. I'm gonna have to set that to the larger, turn it on, James. Put the larger cut. Will it go in there? Will it cut through it? Well, it went through it easier, but just the jaws don't open quite as wide. So from that quick little test, I say the Milwaukee's got more power. Let's have a look. Nice. It's definitely, it seemed to be a cleaner cut with the Milwaukee. Let's try another bit down here. Right, so this one here, Dewalt first. One. Two, three, pretty much. Four to clear it up. And then Milwaukee. One, and the bit to clear it up. Yeah, the Milwaukee seems to have got a lot more power. This is an ash broom handle, you know, proper broom handle that you use to sweep things with or use it for a rake. You know, they're, they're built to be tough. They are tough bits of wood. You'd struggle to snap one deliberately. Can a pair of secateurs cut it? Can it? Not a chance. There's no way a pair of secateurs would cut through that. You would probably need some like ratchet loppers or something to go through that. But can these do it? It's going to be a hell of a challenge. Go on, Dewalt. You're up first. Oh. <laughs> it's mushed it, but it's done it. Can the Milwaukee do it? And. Oh. It's done it. <laughs> Amazing. That just shows how powerful these little tools really are. Would I get the D-Bolt or would I get the Milwaukee? Or would I just be happy with my secateurs I've already got? Well, to be fair, if you're just doing a little bit of pruning every now and again, secateurs are gonna be your best friend. They'll do everything you want them to do. And then for any bigger stuff, you could just have some loppers. Easy, nice and easy. But with these, right, 
buy a decent pair from like the Felco ones. The Felco ones are amazing. If you've never had a decent pair of secateurs, they are great. They're just the best thing ever. Having cheap secateurs is just, you might, you might as well just use your teeth because they do a similar job. But the d -Walt, okay, nice balance, really nice balance. You know, your hand is in the middle of the machine, battery at the back, these at the front, and your hand is bang on in the middle. The balance is really, really nice. And you've got the 38 mil opening jaws. One downside I'd say is that when you do press the button, it's either opened or closed. It doesn't sort of have anything in between. So I, I just find that you haven't got quite the control that you could have. Would I have noticed that if I hadn't had the Milwaukee? Because obviously with this one, you've definitely got that control and you just, your, your finger goes with the flow of the blade, which I really, really like. In the smaller stuff, say up to about an inch, the Milwaukee has definitely got more power than the Dewalt. The Dewalt then comes into its own when you go up to that bigger material that the Milwaukee can't handle. So to be fair, much of a muchness, I wouldn't say either one is better than the other. If you've got Milwaukee batteries, buy a Milwaukee. If you've got Dewalt batteries, buy a Dewalt. If you don't do very much pruning at all, buy a pair of Secateurs, Felcos, because I love them. So hopefully that's been helpful. You can see what the differences are, which, you know, there are some, but they sort of do the same job. So yeah, make your own mind up, see what you think. But we're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button, ding the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!